with Simon Kilmister. I am on the Music and Audio Technology course and I designed a prototype musical hardware device to facilitate composition and performance for Key Stage 3 students. So I used to work in music technology education in senior schools um, and I noticed that there was a a big divide between students that had uh, prior musical experience, um, specifically if they could play keyboard or piano or any instrument really, um, the kids without the experience seemed to suffer when it came to performance and composition in the classroom due to the limitations of the equipment that they used. Um, so I set out to design a prototype hardware controller that um, all pupils could use no matter what their ability or their experience um, they could program it to the software to perform how they wanted it to uh, and they could perform with it and create a really expressive performance so when I started researching into technology in the classroom I found it was quite limited. Um, everything was based around a desktop computer, a MIDI keyboard, and a mouse and a keyboard. Um, so I started researching and reading into human computer interaction, human computer interfaces, uh, different forms of gestural control, um, and into how younger people learn through their uh, cognitive interaction with technology. Um, so after reading into everything, um, I could draw some conclusions of, of things that my product should include. Um, and I also read into it a lot about how engaging with music has a positive effect on the development of young people's minds. Um, and that what I was creating was actually going to be classed as an instrument rather than just a piece of hardware. Uh, so the hardware is uh, based around um, an Arduino Mega microprocessor that is programmed in C um, and it runs with any form of MIDI compatible music software. Um, it uses a crossover piece of hardware that runs in the background called uh, Hairless MIDI. Um, when the student moves any component on the hardware, um, it will map to any chosen parameter within the software. So it's a really versatile instrument that they can program themselves to, to work how they want. So initially I set up uh, tests where the students were given a set of tasks um, and using Logic Pro um, software they were asked to place uh, sound effects and musical elements in time with a piece of film and then apply effects to these, to these samples and stems. Uh, and then I assessed how well they'd done it, how in time they were, how musical it was, how expressive it was. Um, and it gave me a really good basis on what I could improve on. Oh, sorry, for that test, they were only allowed to use just a mouse and a keyboard, so they were literally placing stuff like, oh, just into the environment, into the arrangement window. Um, and it gave me an insight into what they struggled with, what was too complicated within the software, um, where they struggled, how, how precise they could be with a mouse, um, and it sort of led me to, to show what sort of controls would be useful. 
So on the second round of testing, um, I again gave the students uh, a set of tasks um, and they were asked again to put sound, put music, sound effects over film. Um, this time they, were, they did it twice, they were allowed to do it once with the Tech Effect 01 and again with just a mouse and a keyboard and I compared the two. Um, and it was a really proud moment actually, it was, it was quite clear that from the offset the children engaged so much more with the, uh, the hardware, the Tech Effect 01. Um, all of their performances were more expressive, there was a lot more dynamics involved in it. Um, all of them finished the task this time, which first time round they didn't. Um, and they all seem to enjoy it a lot more. So um, I think it was a success. And I think it's a real eye opener into how technology can be used in the classroom in a different way to how it currently is. <laughs> Best part of finishing the dissertation. Um, that it worked. That, that I was very proud to see the finished product being used by students in the classroom where it was intended and that it had a positive impact and, and it did what I hoped that it would do.